Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com, and <laughs> it's the 17th of September 2023, and I'm checking to see if my drone can be found with, uh, with the app I've got on my phone and on my tablet. As you can see, my Air 2S has Remote ID built into it, and so I thought, well, you know, uh, the 16th was when they was re they were requiring it, and that app right there, I'll get I'll get a note and put it in the video. That's the one I'm using, and it's on my tablet along with my DJI uh, Fly app. So I start the uh, uh, I started the the uh, the drone detection uh, app, and then I started the uh, the drone and uh, decided I'll go I'll take off and see if uh, if I can find my drone with my app on my phone. So before I took off, I wanted to see if it would find it just sitting there with the props turning. And that's that's actually the app on my phone that's on the map there. Uh, and you can see he's kind of looking around for things. That's what that pointer is, I guess. And uh, so uh, he didn't see my drone yet. So anyway, and then on the drone, it says remote ID error. <laughs> I don't know why that's there, but uh, apparently something, you know, things aren't working right. Uh, uh, maybe somebody else has got an answer for me. But uh, at this point in time, I'm just going to take off and see if uh, see if, if uh, my app will find my drone while I'm flying it. So I'm uh, taking off, and I want to get up high enough so I don't run into anything while I'm fooling around with the apps on my tablet. Because that's what I'm using right here. I'm just sw flipping between the uh, DJI Fly app and the uh, drone. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll put it up there so you can see it. Anyway, I'm just uh, flipping back and forth. And I think about now I put it on uh, <laughs> on cinematic mode. And uh, then I can move a little bit slower and stuff. And now that I've got it up high enough, it's not going to run into anything by accident. I take a look and see if I can find my drone. And uh, so far, it's not seeing, it's not finding it. And of course, probably that's because of the remote ID error. But uh, I thought, well, I'll try some things. And maybe distance makes a difference. And uh, so I flipped around in that. And of course, I never was able to find my drone, but... What I wanted to do next was to uh, go up a little bit higher and a little further away because I figured if it's right next to the to the drone, uh, maybe the app is not going to detect it. Keep remembering this, that uh, I have a remote ID error, but <laughs> I'm going to check it out anyway. So we'll run over here by my son's house, get a little bit higher, and... Uh, position the drone just in case you know flipping back and forth between two apps I could make a mistake so I want to stay over my son's property there and uh, get up to uh, well what I get up to about uh, 49 feet and we'll turn around here and find me and so I can make sure that it's watching me uh, <laughs> while I'm flipping through all the different things on my on my uh, tablet. All right, so I've got it set where I want it. Now I'll start looking at the tablet, uh, looking at the uh, the uh, drone app. And, of course, it's not there. Uh, I flip back and forth, and it's not there. But uh, anyway, so as you can see, it shows me the remote ID error one more time. And so I decided, okay, I'll just take it home. And so later in the day... Uh, when it was a little warmer outside, I got to thinking maybe it's because I was using the the locator app and DJI Fly on the same tablet. So I decided, okay, I'll go try it again. And this time, I'm using my cell phone uh, to add the apps on my cell phone. And so I'm using my cell phone to uh, find find my drone. And uh, so as you can see, I've got it up in the air. And it's not finding the drone at all. And of course, this is where I zoom in using my phone, uh, my phone screen. So anyway, uh, I decided, okay, well, maybe I'm still too close. 
I'll fly away. And so this time I fly about, oh, maybe a half a mile, quarter of a mile away in order to make sure that it wasn't anywhere near the, uh, the, uh, the, the drone and the app were far enough apart where you could tell a difference. But uh, as you can see, it didn't make any difference. And uh, they, I don't know, maybe somebody's got an answer, but I don't know why it kept saying remote ID error. Uh, maybe the, the DJI has to turn something on in the meantime, and maybe they're holding back. But uh, anyway, so I didn't have any, uh, any luck finding my drone with the app on my phone or my tablet. And I just turned around and came home. And that's how it went. We'll, tr we'll keep checking on things. And like I said, maybe somebody's got the answer. In the meantime, I want to thank you for watching my video. And God bless.